In this presentation, we will take a look at the budget committee as we go through the budgeting process. When we consider the corporate structure, we typically consider it as a top-down type of structure. We have the management, we have the top management, we have the middle management, then we have the supervisor. So we have the top management with the overarching goals and objectives. We've got the middle management that's going to help to oversee the supervisors. And then we have the supervisors typically focus on the day-to-day -day type of activities they're managing the activities that happen on a day-to-day -day process so we note that the company is not a democracy we're not voting for what is going on it's a top-down type of structure it's a top-down type of organization so we would think given that that the budget process would be something that possibly would be dictated by the top and the top would then just tell the rest of the company the map of where we are going and of course the final decision on the budget what budget process will be implemented will be done by the top management however it's going to be important for top management in order to achieve all the objectives that we talked about through the budgeting process to get much of the information from the bottom up that means that much of the information through the budgeting process will actually go from the bottom up from the supervisors to the middle management to the upper management and we could see this bottom up type approach as we apply the budgeting process that will meet many more of our objectives so as we look at the objectives that we considered in a prior presentation we can meet many more of those objectives by taking this bottom up type of approach and there's a couple of different things that we can meet one is that it will involve everybody we, if we have the decisions that are just made by top management and then top management implements those decisions even if they're communicated well even if management has a very good plan they know what the plan is even if they knew everything that's going on in the company and they made a perfect plan and then implemented the plan it's very likely that people will not execute on that plan as well as they could even if it's the perfect plan even though it's communicated perfectly because they don't feel invested in it so that's going to be one problem the other problem is of course that it, a company of just about any size if we have multiple type of departments and of course as the company gets larger and larger there's no way that the top management knows everything that's going to be 